Hey folks, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plaster. What I'm going to show you guys today is we laughed this uh, a couple weeks ago, but they had to finish the sheet rock inside, and they also had to do some tractor work here. Uh, if you notice the ground here, those tracks right there, the steel track, have a tendency to make the earth move a little bit, so I wanted them to complete that prior to us doing the scratch in the brown coat. Now this wall here, it's it's going to be a bit of a challenge because this wall equals this wall. So when we get to that stage, I'll show you. We're going to feather it all in. We're going to use straight edges or darbies and just feather all of this in. Um, so when we get up to that stage, I'll show you that and I'll show you how we're doing the texture here. Okay, guys, we're doing the scratch coat. And notice where the transition is right here. They're going to put a one by four here because it, it's a different level. I don't have that luxury to put a one by four here. So. I've got two coats of scratch right here. We're going to let that set up, and I'm going upwards because it's pretty heavy. So uh, once this sets, then we do the brown coat. And the brown coat, the transition, will be used with this Darby or rod to get it as plumb as we can get under the circumstances. Okay, guys, what I'm doing here now is hard rubber floating. This is to get all the the wall true and plumb it actually opens the wall so it can dry air can go in it and I want it straight because this is pretty straight here and we're almost getting ready after about another hour and then I'm going to show you how to do the texture here I'm doing the texture what I generally do is stagger it I start at the bottom and each time I go upward or sideways I start it at a different area and I'm using a uh, a white color coat. They got all different colors, but they're going to paint this. And what this does is give you an idea of how to do it. Rather than me go between that pipe, I'll go right here. So we're taking it, going up, and just taking it, going up. And I'm pulling it out of my bucket. Right. So, I usually start the top, pull down, start the top, pull down, pipe it away here, but we'll work around it. Just like that. I don't know how well the, the camera will show these textures, but that is how you do it. And that's what they got here. This is a Santa Barbara Smooth Mission finish texture I'm using. That way, when I'm done, it'll match their painted surface. There's is painted and it's pretty flat, so I'm going with the Santa Barbara. This is Kirk with Kirk's Giordano Plastering. My son Jason doing video as usual. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching and you have a great day.